Welcome to the 14th floor of the Intercontinental New York Barclay. Come on in. What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. NYC has hundreds of hotel options, but on this channel, we love luxury and historic. The Intercontinental New York Barclay is both. Is it worth it? Keep it locked. All right, so we just hopped off the six train from Tribeca to Midtown Manhattan. And we're here at the intersection of 51st Street and Lexington Avenue, headed to our second hotel of the trip. All right, we just checked in to the New York Barclay. We're on the 14th floor, let's check out the room. So we made it to our deluxe king room on the 14th floor at the Intercontinental New York Barclay. I'm gonna give you a whole room tour, take you around the hotel, show you the bar, the restaurant, the fitness center, plus the historic lobby. Before we get into any of that, go ahead and finesse that like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and be sure to join my growing Patreon community. It opened up in 1926, as the Barclay, right here on 48th Street and Lexington in Midtown Manhattan. And this whole construction was backed by the wealthy Vanderbilt family. It's always been a luxury hotel. And back in the day when the old Grand Central existed, this hotel had a private platform. In 1978, Intercontinental Hotels purchased the building and gave it a $32 million restoration. That wouldn't be the only renovation that the Barclay underwent. There was another one in 1995 and more recently in 2016. Among those multi-million dollar upgrades are the full restoration of the lobby, a couple of new ballrooms, and a brass bird cage around the revolving doors that you go through when you come off 48th Street. In 2001, they celebrated their 75th anniversary and renamed the hotel Intercontinental New York Barclay, partially to distinguish it from the other Intercontinental New York over in Times Square, and as a nod to its heritage as the Barclay. The Intercontinental New York Barclay is a five-star hotel with 14 floors and over 700 rooms. I booked right on their website. It was simple. I'm a member of their IHG Rewards program, so you know I'm racking up major points for this stay in Manhattan. They have a 24-hour business center, a gym. They offer dry cleaning service. They have a bar and a restaurant called The Parlor, like I mentioned earlier, the beautiful lobby, and they are pet friendly. This deluxe king room has Federalist details, timeless furniture, and it's a throwback to 1920s Manhattan decor. Welcome to the 14th floor of the Intercontinental New York Barclay. Come on in. You enter the room through this beautiful foyer with white and black checkered tile. There's also a closet right here. It's super spacious. Both of our suitcases, my backpack, and Nerissa's Longchamp bag fit in there. This is the coffee and food station. Down in this cabinet, there's a mini fridge, but unfortunately, it's the one with the weighted snacks and drinks. It's kind of unfortunate that we don't have our own fridge, especially since we're gonna be here for five nights. Once you exit the foyer, you come into the main part of the room. The king size bed has some some really beautiful sheets and pillows, nice headboard. Above that is a great collection of artwork, adds a nice touch of class to the room. A really nice oval table, a couple of beautiful floor lamps. What I really like is not only that the chairs are pretty, but they're each different. Behind me is an enormous mural depicting some sailboats on the water, elegant long dresser. I really like this one. It's one of the highlights for me. And then the flat panel Samsung TV. And finally, the washroom. The black and white checker tile continues into this room. Stand up shower with a couple of different faucet heads and then a really beautiful sink. The washroom is pretty standard, but it definitely feels a little bit more elegant, which you would expect from a five star hotel. All right, so now that we've done the room tour, let's head back downstairs to the parlor restaurant, which is located right next to the lobby. Good ambiance, super chill. I love the lighting and the music. The food looks incredible. I got the grilled chicken breast with grilled seasonal vegetables. There's some artichoke hearts in there, some broccolini, carrots. I think there's a tomato in there too. Try a piece of that chicken. It's nice and hot off the grill. That chicken is super juicy, grilled to perfection, good seasonings and herbs, nice and clean, which I'm all about, especially after a long day. So here's my penne pasta. I added some shrimp scampi because it was feeling a little extra today. Ooh, lots of sauce. The pasta is nice and freshly cooked. You can taste the tomato, super fresh, and it's got a little bit of basil sprinkled on top. 
When I'm traveling, I'm still all about that fitness life, so I make sure every single hotel that I stay at has some sort of gym, even if it's just a couple of treadmills and some small free weights. But you know a five-star hotel like the Intercontinental New York Barclay is gonna bring it with a fully stocked fitness center. Let's head to the gym. One of the things you absolutely have to do is come to the Parlor Bar. It's located adjacent to their beautiful lobby. This hotel is all about reliving that 1920s Manhattan glory. You know, the roaring 20s, the jazz age. So in the spirit of that, I got one of the most famous cocktails from that era, the Bee's Knees. Now, back during Prohibition, this recipe was concocted to kind of mask that kind of bootleg, cheap alcohol. But today, you know, it's made with premium gin. There's some lemon juice in there. But the secret ingredient is the honey that it's made on the rooftop garden. Cheers, guys. This begs the question, should I start a separate drink channel? Let me know in the comments. So one of the built-in costs at the Intercontinental New York Barclay is an amenity fee. And with that fee, you get a daily $25 drink and food credit. You have to use it, otherwise it goes away. It doesn't kind of carry over like college credit. After such a fun day out in New York City, it's so nice to come back to this beautiful lobby bar. Everything from the decor to the furniture is timeless. And speaking of timeless, I got a dirty martini with blue cheese olives. They distill this vodka in Chelsea, New York. Cheers. All right, so on the second floor is where the Barclay has all their suites, like the Rockefeller suite, the Astor suite, so on and so forth. They also have their ballrooms, which are fairly new. They came about, I think, in the 2016 renovation. Unlike, say, like a Palmer House, these aren't elegant, gilded era of ballrooms, even though the hotel kind of goes back to those early days, but rather they're just like modern ballrooms for the purposes of big meetings. Matter of fact, right now they have US Open meetings that they're setting up for. So they kind of got the tennis balls out and all the signs for the US Open and stuff so it's gonna be kind of cool maybe we'll see some tennis players When you're staying at a hotel like the Intercontinental New York Barclay, don't expect this to be a budget option. It's a five-star luxury hotel and the prices kind of reflect that. But I think if you're coming to New York and you're looking to experience a little of the 1920s glamour of Manhattan, be in a good spot in Midtown, close to public transportation with a lot of good amenities where you're gonna feel not only comfortable, but kind of pampered, you know, splurge a little bit. Expect to pay a higher price. We had a five-night stay and when you include taxes, additional charges, amenity fees, things like that, our average nightly fee came to just under 250, but I think it's worth it. Great service here. The staff has been extremely friendly. Everything in the hotel is updated. It's a timeless decor, but refreshed for 2021. Just like the Palmer House in Chicago, the Intercontinental New York Barclay has great amenities, some fascinating history, and it is centrally located. We got the Deluxe King room, but they also have premier rooms. They have suites, including the Vanderbilt suite, which has a private terrace, a marble tub, its own fitness the center and views of the Chrysler building. I'm kind of working my way up just a few more points and I think I'll get there. All in all, I would stay at the Barclay again in a New York minute.